gone now. Bright and early Saturday morning in the wood. And I'm proud of myself. Why? Not because it's early. Because look at that shy. Fucking fog this morning. Shock. And you have to be careful because deers just jump out of the ditch onto the bonnet of the van if you're not fucking careful. Oh, I'll be at the stag tonight and all the plumbers will be there. Oh, you're not drinking as much as us. Oh, we're hard as fuck. You know, oh, we've loads of money. We're gonna drink all this. Why aren't you drinking? What are you up at fucking four o'clock this morning? Where are ya? But you know, all messing joking aside, I'm really looking forward to my night out with plumbers because whether you know it or not, in the 20th century, plumbers have saved more lives than penicillin. You know, with hygiene or whatever in our homes and in our modern cities and towns, villages. Very dangerous job. In the first two years of a plumber training, 36% of them die of drowning. They make a mistake with a fitting or a tap, and they're in a place where water fills up and they drown. They lose one. So, respect the plumbers, that's what I say. Respect. And then, Paul Kyo, that's Craig's boss. Deal with him tonight. Now, he's a nice guy. He's sound. Oh, I'm the only Irish plumber that met the Forbes rich list. Oh, I'm in control of 62% of all Bitcoin in Ireland. All right, Paul, big fucking deal. I have 20 inch allies and you don't hear me fucking going on about it, do you? Great, rushing over here on a fucking Saturday morning. Getting a ton more. It's very funny. See that bag there? Vicky told me to bring that. Said there's good clothes in it. Tidy yourself up before you go in there to get your suit fitted. I said I'd bring the bag, but fuck if I'm changing into them. Big enough of a job, come here. Well, lads, uh, that's that done. I looked farewell. Oh, I just looked at myself in the mirror and I went, wow. Like, you know, you're a timber man, you don't normally dress up, but when you do, you put male models to fucking shame. Well, I'm back. Well, I'm finishing the spruce. We're into the plane now, which is fucking not nice. Look out. Oh, jeez. Like, the job Greg has even to get that through the head. No. An easy, an easy job. And then, brush is shy, it's wet. Like, um, I'll just show you. I'll show you now, look. Watch, 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 watch. But that's like, that's no good, that ground, is it? No, it's not. It's a load of fucking bollocks. Welcome to the jungle. Something. Kenny, he's gone up a notch in my book, Greg. They do a Piva's country bap and it is oh, it's mint. Oh, back to the wood now, Greg. How long there, man? With your stag? I don't know. I'll go home maybe enough and fucking get ready, shower, and now I don't have to do myself up too much because Where are you going? Extra easy polish of diamond. What? Huh? Where are you going? I don't know what pub we're going to. Where are you going, like? Where is? All right. Yes. Yeah, come over. Uh, no. <laughs> Nothing to do when you bring this in the car. I knew we wouldn't stay pushing it. Now we're carrying it. And uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not well. I'm not feeling the best. That's all you need to know. How did you get that caught in your hair? Come over here, I sorted out. Oh, that was a burp. Tasted like Jaeger bombs. What are they? They're not following us. Why would they be following you? But they're not going here. I want to rub them. You want to rub them? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to rub them. Come on. Let's go. Come on, sheep. Come on. <laughs> hey, get your hat out of your eyes. That's not how you wear your hat. Can get I see your hat? 
You're running away forever. All right, good Do luck. We now and we are Take this to with you. Came up home. The Vicky worked nights last night, so I wanted to try and let her have a bit of rest. What? What's that? Show me. Dirt. We'll put it in the bin when we get home. Come on. Come on. Um. Yeah, if you see my jacket. It's nice, isn't it? Free with every 50 grand purchase. Do you think you're real cool, do you? Yeah? How cool are you? <laughs> <laughs> Well done. You had to do it, didn't you? Do you like doing that? Okay, come over here or I'll drive my boot up your bum. Oh my God. Come on. Come on. Look. Look at your trousers now. <laughs> it's like everything you do is just to get me in trouble when I get home with your mother. Do you want me to give you a beating? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's terrified of me. I'll start baiting you. Oh. Ah, crap, come on! <laughs> One of the things you have to do to clear the windows in the morning. God. Wait for Vicky to come home from work because she was on nights. No, I went to bed at 8 o'clock last night. I went to bed with the kids. I can't remember the last time I slept that long. I don't know how I didn't even shine piss in the bed. I was just wrecked. That's what happens when you drink fucking too many bastard Jaeger bombs. <laughs> Little did I know that Paul Keogh and his, his gang of plumbers. They're known all around Port Leash. The Midlands is the bomb squad. The Jaeger bomb squad. Need loads of dirty tricks. Both my hands were full and they'd hold your nose and then pour the drink into your mouth. Forcibly make you drink it. It's either that or spill it down the front of your designer clothes and That little walk down to the machine was exactly what I needed. Look, there's a nice little frosting on the ground. Yeah. I'm very glad that um, I don't drink that much anymore because I'm out of fresh. Look. Look, 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 look. Hmm. I'm so tender I couldn't even draw a decent of Mickey. For fuck's sake. That's a shock. Well, I was going through my emails yesterday and I always get a great old giggle at our companies that want me to do... Don't. Uh, just make sure it's just break the ground. They want me to do sponsored videos on, you know, clothes or skin and hair care products. Oh god, because there's no way of me doing them without looking like a spa. Because everyone knows I don't wear clothes for fashion. I wear them because it's illegal not to. And the other stuff. Oh, I don't know. Although I'll give it a practice run in my radio voice. So today my hair has been brought to you by I never showered yesterday. And I don't give a flying fuck. What do you think? I haven't, I haven't ate much yesterday. I haven't been well. I'm not used to the drinking. Great hair. Going out to Peavey's for some to eat, you know, it's everything that Kenny he always wanted, you know, somewhere to eat. Because it was getting, how many years? How many years? Eight now of a bag around Kenny. <laughs> like, it's enough for people to be shiting in bags around Kenny without having to eat. <laughs> Everyone thinks that I dislike salmon, and half my family salmon their whole lives. It's just this lad. 
What is this, Lala? This is it. He has, me, he has me turned off. Because Garrett's already in house saw, man. And that's all very fine, but the whinge he does. Did you notice he went to the shop, though, and brought... Bro, not, only boost. bought something for himself. nothing for us. But, like, the advantages of saw outweigh the disadvantages. It's hard work. It's hard work. It is hard work. <laughs> Everything, but... But, but... No, he gets to go home every day at 4 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Can't be strong. You see, you splashed out, didn't you? You splashed out. What you buy us? You bought us all something nice. I'm really not well still. We're sitting here waiting for the super army soldier. And I think he was late to work this morning because he only went to bed at, as he says, 2300 hours last night. Two a year. What? I'll be hair in his head. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be delighted with that guy. Ow. Look. Stuck the, up my nose. The accent hurt. No, who's that? That's a. It's a farmer. Oh, it is a farmer. So he's driving a cruiser. Jeez. Oh, that's a little old woman across the street. No, no, not little. Old woman. That's it. Not waiting anymore, man. Right, that's going. Greg and Gara are horsing through that side. The lads, it is, it is wet as fuck. I'm having a cup of tea. I'm having a sandwich because. Feeling I'm gonna be here for a long, 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 long time tonight. So this is my dinner. Ah! I just walk around the gravel, the crane, shaking shit. Just to make sure nothing's falling off it because the breaks in the middle of the wood. All the ghosts and the ghouls and all the fucking pricks will be out. And they'll definitely do harm to my bum bum bum. You know what I mean? Pulling branches out where they're not supposed to be. That's why I'm so fucking hard at! That's my pulp sack now. Bigger than anything else. Shitty plane. Greg's nearly finished. Look, he just has that corner left. Sorry about yesterday. I just wasn't feeling it. I went home Monday night and um, I didn't feel well. I went to bed and I was up all night. Fucking sore throat and just puking and stuff. And uh, yesterday I went to work and every shake in the machine and every, it was just a struggle to get through the day. I even left for an hour, went to the doctor and got drugs. And I haven't been on antibiotics in many, many years. but. You know, I said to the doctor, look, I have a wedding, a best man Saturday, and if I'm not there, the whole thing has to be cancelled, so. Yeah, do you want any sick starts? No, because I'm a fucking man. <laughs> Sorry. I'm dying. But still make a bank. Because I'm a man. A sick man. A man all the same. I can't wait to finish this wood. It is a pain in the fucking bollocks. I'm falling a little bit behind as well because last night when I went home I went straight to bed and tomorrow night we have the rehearsals for the wedding so tonight I have to, I fucking have to write the speech, get that done. So yeah, look at this shit, fucking hell. I see Greg's fucked off home. It's just me now. I wanna go home too. Well, this is fucking horrible. Just what you need when you're not feeling the fucking best. Uh, weather. <sighs> Sweet nipple fox. You alright? Do you want to go to bed? Feel a little better? But you don't want to go to bed. But you feel better. But you don't want to go to bed. One of these, three times a day. Live the fucking thing. Live it. Although this was already one of the busiest weeks, or week, two weeks, that I've had in a long time. Took a, a dark turn for the worst. Because Vicky was suffering with her back. And last night, didn't even, didn't even sleep at all. When Vicky's up, I'm up. And if I'm up, kids are up. Nobody slept in our house. 
So for the Queen, what we got? PGP. PGP. So yeah, she's she's suffering, and it's my fault because I put a baby in her. I feel awful, awful bad now. I have to leave because I have to get the kids to bed and stuff. Kids come first. If there's anyone out there that has any magic solutions for what was it? It's like pelvic girdle something. P V P G. Yeah, that would be just you know abracadabra and it's gone. It'd be just fantastic. Well, I hope to God that she doesn't suffer with that for the length of time that she has that baby left in her because March is going to be a long time coming. <laughs> Oh, when it rains and pours. But you know what? One life lived the fucking thing and all that. You know what I mean? I'm getting there. Hand sore. Did so much writing. I just have to whittle it down to five or six minutes and then it should be fine. An awful job get the kids to bed. No, Lily was fine. Clark, though, he's a little bit of a mammy's boy, so. He wanted his mammy. I just hope Vicky sleeps tonight. She didn't sleep a wink last night. She was up all night. So. Please God, she'll be out tomorrow. Fuck if she misses her brother's wedding night. Fuck and she'd be fucking fuck. That's the best thing about working with your brothers. They're after giving me tomorrow off so I can bring the kids to school. Clark has a little Halloween party before they break up for the holidays. And that's one good thing. So yeah. Better stay ahead. Hey Clark. Lily. Did you get in a fight Clark? Show me. Wow! Blah! Thanks. Clara, did you have a good day in school? Yeah! Did you eat sweets? Yeah! You hungry? Yeah! That fake blood's gone off your face. Did someone wash it off? Yeah? You put on your helmet before someone sees you. Quick, 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 you don't want anyone to know that you're Tony. Well done. Shoot out your hands. What? Do what Iron Man does. Shoot out your hands. <laughs> hey, is that a good milkshake? Are they good? I told you they were good. Am I ever wrong? No, I'm not. <laughs> Are you fighting? Yeah. Who are you fighting? The cushions? They don't stand a chance, do they? <laughs> hey, come on, you have to come up and have a bat. Come on. Come on. Are you coming for a bat? No. I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. He's been to show you how them cushions for the last 20 minutes. Have you the ducky in? Yeah. Yeah, and the trailer. And they're the two ones I don't like. I don't like that lad. And I don't like that lad. And I don't like him. Do you know why? They like him. I don't mind the ducky. But I don't they like the bowl. I love the bowl. But well, I don't like them. I, like, I don't like the way they're... They're just showing, they look like they're showing their junk, don't they? The Anilo is showing Just flaunting them. themselves or something. Yeah, like vomiting their arms then. <laughs> we are absolutely failing miserably at keeping the mess to a minimum. Clark, go and stash with your man. Clark, you happy? Good. Um, I know, yeah. Well, um, he's happy. All right, come on, we're going now. We're finished. Get you into your pajamas. <laughs> See the way I just peg you around the place like a piece of me. See the way I peg you around the place like a piece of me. Yeah. Yeah, that's how strong I am. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, since I cut your hair, you literally have the same hair as Heath Ledger's Joker. <laughs> I... <laughs> right on the ghoulies. <laughs> so here it is. 
Here it is, the culmination of a very busy, very busy two weeks, wasn't it? This, it was, yeah. this is the last Snapchat you'll ever see with this man, a single guy, the best plumber in Mount Medic. And there he is, gone, off the market. Don't even try anymore, guys. Don't even try. But for trying on our suits, making sure they fit, we look sexy as. Dick. They're awesome. They're awesome. Look at him. Look how happy he is. Look how happy he is. <laughs> We're not going to drink too much because we could end up making love the night before the wedding. That would be... I'm just sitting waiting for a reasonable time to start hoovering cars and stuff. Because I live in a built-up area. I am um, Vicky's home. She's on crutches and she has braces and stuff. But... Look, Clark in the morning. Just Likes to watch uh, to Cops oh, yeah. Well the Australian version Highway Patrol yeah. or So Maybe Maybe he's going to be a A law enforcement person I can't see that I remember Slim Because uh, he's a fucker Look I'm, I'm all about the detail As everyone knows And seeing as me and Craig are being Chauffeured to this wedding by a Volvo today, I said I'd give her a good going over. Look at how she's gleaming. And when I put the ribbons on her, now I suppose she's going to look like a wedding hearse because it looks like a fucking hearse, but it's a fucking cool one. Grand day for a wedding! <coughs> You're right, it is a grand day for a wedding. Grand day for a wedding. You are very cool with sunglasses on. Yeah, show me all your tights. Oh, wow. They should keep you happy. Come on, Superman. Save us from not being able to close the door. Go on, kick it in. Kick him in. It's your big Superman muscle, that's it. Oh, you're doing a great job. You're oh, always a super job. Oh, you're going to make a man very happy someday. Come on. <laughs> oh, nice one. Give me. Come on. Big day, we're just getting ready to go in. Everyone's sitting down, we're all very excited, especially for Craig's speech. <laughs> Poor Craig. One life. Just live the fucking day. Live the fucking day. <laughs> hey, Clark, come here. Come here. Do you want to take off the glasses? No. No, keep them on top. I just thought really smiling. Sorry, the Irish smiling at your wedding day. His speech, I mean, it made me cry. It was emotional. It was emotional, like after all that. And the best plumber in the world. best. There's, there's Craig now. His, his speech was so emotional that I cried. There was tears coming out of my eyes. Everyone, it wasn't dry eye in the house. Everyone was like, I love him so much. I love him so much. Did love me as well. Yeah. Paul! Bomb squad. There he is. There's the bomb squad. Look. The most dangerous man at this wedding. The dangerous man. The bomb squad is coming in the distance. too cautious now. Well, I tell you, I was in there about a day and a half. Yeah. <laughs> right. This woman here. This woman here. here with tonight. Look. And she's not a fan of mine. She's a fan of my brother, Sean. Sean all the way. Sean Cuddy. It's fucking scant, so it is. He's my favourite Cuddy. Yeah, he's a bully, that's what he is. <laughs> Much more than I needed before I got money into